Another Houston area neighborhood has been hit with a string of racist flyers. One of several incidents we've seen in just the past few weeks. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joining us live from Historic Heights Fire Station, where city officials held a town hall to discuss a solution to this. Gabby, what they say? Uh, well, we saw HPD, Harris County Sheriff's deputies, uh, as well as city leaders gathered here today to discuss uh, this wave of propaganda popping up in our communities. I can tell you they say while it is not a crime to hand these flyers out, they say that people still need to make sure they're reporting these incidents. On Wednesday evening, city leaders held a town hall to discuss the recent rash of racist flyers we've seen popping up in neighborhoods throughout the Houston area. I think we're doing what we can at this point, and hopefully it doesn't escalate. Rebecca Ty lives in the Heights community. Not long ago, she found one of those flyers promoting white supremacy littered right in her front yard. It happened to us, and I'm in an interracial marriage, and my husband found this thing in our driveway on a Sunday morning, and it was extremely disturbing. And just this week, more racist flyers found in the Cinco Ranch community. It's important that our residents know that they can take meaningful action to combat hate, to combat white supremacy. The Anti-Defamation League says they've pinned these flyers to two different white supremacy organizations and that many times these groups will use media coverage and social media buzz to promote and raise money. It says donate to hate. So they, they give you an opportunity to donate based on the fact that these propaganda campaigns are successful. Because of that, officials say people should not repost these flyers to social media. They made clear during this town hall that passing these flyers out is not illegal. Free speech is guaranteed. That's what makes our country so great, right? Whether I agree with what you have to say or not, it's extremely awful, but it's still lawful. But while leaders say they support the First Amendment, they also say they take this kind of propaganda seriously. And they say people need to keep reporting these incidents so that agents Agencies can track them and pinpoint what groups are spreading the rhetoric. What we can do with that information is we can send it to our Center on Extremism and help identify who might have done this. And then if they go ahead and commit a crime, then that is going to be something that the police department can actually act on. And if you do find these flyers in your neighborhood, you're asked to call law enforcement non-emergency numbers, or you can go ahead and report it right through the ADL's website. Uh, we'll have more information on our website about how to do that, fox26houston.com. For now, I'm reporting live, Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.